Hey, what's up, Colorado Realtors? I'm Scott Peterson. Happy Friday, and thank you for joining me for another edition of Legal Bites. It's Friday, the 14th of May, and uh, it's middle of the afternoon, and um, I've been sort of blown up today in a lot of respects because we've had some super, uh, what I believe to be really great developments with regard to uh, COVID, but it's created uh, some additional questions, and as opposed to trying to take them you know, in a variety of other ways, uh, the hotline has been super busy with questions and uh, lots of other individual reach outs. Uh, easier maybe just to record this and, um, and give some of my thoughts in terms of kind of where we're at in real estate uh, based on a couple of things that occurred today. Uh, actually, and kind of was originally announced yesterday that the uh, sort of major metro counties, Denver metro area counties, have decided that they are moving on Sunday into what they is, has been described as clear. Clear is where most of the state has been in terms of the geographic most of the state, not necessarily population, obviously, but geographic most of the state's been in clear uh, since uh, mid-April. So it's been several weeks at this point, but the major metro area counties, the major population centers on the front range have, have retained the COVID color dial uh, up until this point or up until Sunday is when uh, the movement to clear at this at this point actually occurs. And so they kind of announced that uh, uh, or that news broke a little bit yesterday. Um, and so this Sunday, all of those counties are going to be in clear. What does that mean? Uh, well, actually, I'll back up. The other thing that was uh, unexpected or that w really broke uh, in a big way just a little bit ago was that the governor uh, removed immediately the mask mandate that was in place, the indoor mask mandate that was put into place and has been uh, kind of sequentially into place for a heck of a long time, as you guys all know. And so that is now uh, no longer in place with, with a couple of caveats, and that's really dense areas, mass transit, uh, um, like prisons and places that you guys wouldn't be, uh, probably, or at least the prison part. Um, so, uh, but in terms of other things, the, the indoor mask mandate, the occupancy limits for your offices, your brokerage firms, all of those things are gone. And now it's going to be sort of at the discretion of a business, an individual business, as to whether they want to mandate uh, mask use and everything else. So that's uh, super exciting news. And that, like I say, for the state level is effective immediately. Now, the, the wrinkle here, and one of the things that I wanted to clarify is that technically, uh, the guidance that the Division of Real Estate had sent out was related to the COVID color dial, which we know went away statewide, but particularly in the metro area counties, they hung on to that and ostensibly will be hanging on to that until Sunday when they move to clear. Um, meaning that theoretically the blue level blue guidance, at least in the metro area counties or in any county where there is additional countywide public health orders in place currently, um, those now will be the controlling factors. And again, in most counties, uh, I would imagine around the state with some pretty limited exceptions, potentially in some resort areas, I think we're going to be a clear state in terms of limitations on occupancy, uh, mask use and, um, uh, you know, gloves and all the other stuff that's been driving you crazy. So, um, I guess it, just to be clear, uh, I think tech, in a very strictly technical sense, uh, if you're in one of the metro area counties through or up and until Sunday, um, I'd say probably keep doing what you're doing as it relates to your business. If you're doing showings and um, open houses, any of those things that are tied to uh, the division of real estates frequently asked questions and what in most cases are going to be the level blue guidance that's there. And then technically that comes off on Sunday in those counties. And uh, now we're back to the to the statewide order, unless there's any, unless the counties decide or any individual county decides to put something additional in place at a countywide level. Um, but the mask mandate statewide is gone. And um, so very exciting stuff. Uh, it, in my opinion, I think we're all uh, ready to, to take this big uh, unmask deep breath and move out of this. But um, Continue to do so responsibly. Continue to be paying attention if you are in uh, maybe some of the more resort counties. And I'm, I'm thinking more about maybe your, uh, you know, uh, Aspens, Tellurides, 
Um, Vail, although I think Vail is actually moving off, I had seen. So check your county level for guidance. Be paying attention there because anything they have would uh, control at this point. And then the last thing I'll say is make sure that, you know, you're being uh, mindful of any individual showing instructions or any limitations that a seller um, may instruct their listing broker to put into place with regard to showings or access to property and COVID limitations there, because those certainly would be controlling too. But apart from that, this feels pretty darn good to be giving an update like this, uh, particularly on a Friday afternoon. And um, hopefully we continue to move the direction we are moving and hopefully this answers some questions. Hotline will be open. Uh, it's gonna close down here at some point this afternoon in about a half hour or so, but it will be open uh, on Monday. Uh, in the meantime, hang in there, be safe, uh, continue to do what you're doing, have a great weekend. And um, feels pretty good that we're moving out of this mask mandate. So take care guys, we will see you at some point, um, maybe next week, depending on uh, if there's additional updates to give. Thanks so much, bye-bye.